Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Ron Simplified Myers, your Uplifting Life Partner. Just wanted to come give you guys some quick information on understanding life insurance. It's really not complicated. Uh, the industry will tell you it's term life insurance versus cash value. Uh, folks, if you understand this, you'll understand most than 90% of life insurance agents or might be even higher than that. But all life insurance is term. The conflict is never term life insurance versus cash value. The question is whether a person should save inside of their life insurance or outside of their life insurance. Terms just means for a specific period of time. If you have a 20 year term, that just means your life insurance premiums will stay the same for the next 20 years. That has nothing to do with what it's called, whether it's insurance or not, it's all insurance. Term just tells you how long. Whole life, which is a policy that has a savings component to it, the term of the life component is 100 years old. I mean, for 100 years. At age 100, they call it outliving your life insurance, but that is the term of that particular policy. Does that make sense? You have a six month term on your auto insurance or year term. All insurance works the same, folks. Terms just means a specific period of time. It's not a conflict on the insurance. So anyway, the only question, if you guys get that, just remember that point. The question is not whether I buy term insurance or a cash value because insurance is term. So that's going to hold true whether it's whole life, universal life, variable life, you bet your life, whatever they call it, the insurance element is term. The question again is whether I should save inside the policy or outside. Real quick, if you save inside, you got to borrow your own money. You notice what I said, your own money, okay? That in itself tells me something ain't right. You got to borrow your own money. You, uh, the interest rate's going to be maybe 1%, 2%. Uh, that's once you finally start to accumulate money, which could be five, six, seven years from now. And folks will tell you, no, Ron, look at my policy. I got a savings in it right now. Folks, when you go look at all the clauses that's in there, even though it shows some cash value, you have a penalty to pay up front, which is more than the cash, which means it's still zero. The industry added those little elements in there to make it look like you actually have cash accumulated in the first couple of years, but you still don't. And that's one of the negatives to it also. The first two, three years, you have no savings. Even though you paid additional money to have it, I don't know what happened to it. You know what happened to it. The agent and the company got it. But anyway, so you got to borrow it. You, you're paying interest on your own money if you borrow it. And if you die, you don't even get it. Now, you paid extra money to get a savings and you don't get it if you die. Folks, it ain't hard to figure out. Don't buy the ones that have the savings. The only person that benefits from that is your life insurance agent and his company or her company. Now, people that have a lot of money will tell you why cash value policies are great programs. Folks, they're using them to hide money. Oops, did I say that? But that's what they're being used for. They can candy coat it however you want to. Most people are not going to be in a position that that's going to be uh, an issue for you, that you're, you're going to run out of places to actually put money where uh, the IRS can't get to it. So you don't need to go try to hide it in different vehicles. That's all they're doing with the cash, with the cash value. But anyway, uh, let me not get into that. I know it's going to make some people mad that I said that, but that's, it is what it is. So anyway, if you want to buy life insurance, buy it in its pure form, which is term, invest somewhere separately. If you get wealthy and you want to start finding different vehicles and you want to start hiding money, enjoy the journey. But I'm just letting you know, for the average person, probably nine out of 10 people that see this video, you should never have a program that have a savings attached to it. And as you guys know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It is my opinion. Talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.